Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. What kind of ground do you represent? Matthew 13, verse 18 through 23. Hear you, therefore, the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understands it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that was sown in his heart. That is, he who received the seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is that he heareth the word, and anointed with joy, and received it. Yet hath not root inside, but during for a while, when tribulation or persecution arise because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that hears the word and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness and richness chokes the word and becomes unfaithful. But he who receives the seed into good ground, and he is that hears the word and understands it, which also beareth fruit, bringing forth and some hundredfold, some sixty and thirty. Okay. Basically what this means is there was a seed. We have a seed inside of us. The seed of God inside of us. The question is, are you on the wayside path? Are you on the rocky grounds, stony grounds? Are you on the thorny grounds? Or are you on good soil? So basically on the wayside path is people that might hear about God, okay, they've heard about God, but they don't really care, they don't understand it, and they just don't believe in God. So the birds came and devoured their seeds. They took their soul, which is the devil. That's someone that would never believe in God, believe in Jesus, and they should be taken away. And then you got people on rocky grounds, stony grounds, which kind of started, they heard the words of God, they started to listen to them, and they started, you know, maybe they're reading the Bible. Then all of a sudden, their plants started growing a little bit. And then all of a sudden, they heard there was tribulation, there was problems, persecution, because they, you know, believed in God. So they just pretty much never grew roots. The plants just wither away. And then you have people on thorny grounds, which they believed in God, they maybe understood it, they went to church, they, uh, to church groups where you know there's pastors up there you know they're on thorny grounds but these people that are on thorny grounds are also people that live the riches of this world deceitfulnesses they pretty much do what the world is they don't basically live the way you should live as a Christian they live kind of both they're kind of lukewarm so eventually the roots never really produce any fruits because eventually gets choked up into the world gets choked up by the, you know, the riches and the deceitfulnesses of this world. So they never get any fruits. Then you got people that grew in good soil, good ground, where they believed in God, they understood God, they read the Bible, but they also, you know, went to other people to get God. They understood everything. They didn't really live the riches in the worldness. They weren't part of this world. You know, when you're part of this world, you're really not a true Christian. Because that's what pretty much Jesus said, you know, you know, if you love this world, you do not have the love in the Father. That's also a scripture. Um, but the question is, you are a God's seed. Which ground are you standing on now? That's something you have to analyze and think about yourself. Where am I at in this parable? Am I at the wayside? Am I in the rocky places? Am I on the thorns? Or am I in good soil and being fruitful? Only you know where you're at. It's important to get to the good soil. Because that's what will get us into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus loves you. God bless you.